Welcome back, Yellow Jackets, for another segment of Inside the Hive. I'm Brian Merkovich, and let's take a look at the men's and women's indoor track and field. Their last meet at the Denison, Ohio Invitational proved to be a great one as DC finished in first place. While the Jackets were running the show in Granville, Ohio, the George M. Smart Athletic Center was cleaning up construction and touching up on the lines on the track for its grand opening later this month. I caught up with Coach Harpence and asked him a few questions about this past week. Coach Harpence, your last meet was at the Denison, Ohio Invitational. Could you tell me a little bit about how that went for your men and women? Uh, I was really happy with both team performances. We were able to, uh, to come away with overall team victories on, on both sides. Uh, the women's uh, battle was particularly hard fought. It came down to the last couple relay events, and uh, we really showed good balance uh, for both our men and women uh, with big contributions coming in each of the event areas. And how did you prepare your team for the Ohio Northern Invitational? Uh, you know, we're trying to just keep getting better as we head into championships. Next week is uh, the All Ohio Division Three Indoor Championships. We're followed up by the, the HEAC Conference Championships. So we're trying to just help people improve, uh, get better seed marks, get more people qualified, and uh, continue to set ourselves up for good championship uh, performances. And your team has been on a roll in just about each event. Uh, here in the beginning of the season. Um, do you see any certain event groups excelling in the next meet? Uh, you know, it's hard to say. Each week that we've competed this year, uh, we've had good contributions f from all our event areas. Uh, probably the last meet, our jumping group, was, was probably the group that stepped up the most. Uh, Katie Heitkamp set a school record, breaking an old record in the pole vault. Uh, Erica DeBose had a big uh, personal best in the high jump to move to... Uh, to number three in our all-time list and is currently ranked uh, fourth in all Ohio. Uh, freshman Reggie Neal uh, launched a monster triple jump. He took, uh, took the conference lead in that and uh, we're really pleased and excited about that because that's an event he hadn't competed in before and he's also uh, doing very well in long jump. And so th the jumps group was probably the most consistent last meet, uh, but you know, every week can be a little bit different, and that's one of our goals. You know, our, we, we aspire when we get to championships to be able to have contributions from, from each of the event areas. And uh, the way we're going so far, I think we have a great chance to do that. Tom Postema, again, had a field athlete of the week. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, we're really excited for, for Tom again. Uh, second straight week being awarded the HAC uh, Field Performer of the Week. Uh, he rebroke his school record in the shot put. Uh, at Denison on Saturday, uh, throwing 52-8. He moved to, uh, to number 10 in the country for the Division Three athletes and first in both the, uh, the HCAC and the All-Ohio Division Three rankings. Uh, he also had a really nice performance in, in the weight throw on Friday night. We threw at Finley, and uh, he was the top collegiate finisher there and uh, just a couple inches off his, off his personal best. So uh, really excited about his, his progressions and, and looking forward to seeing how he does when we come to championships. Great. And the field house is currently under construction, but making great improvements. Could you give me an update on that? Yeah, we're, uh, we're obviously really excited about the field house, uh, just about being open. Uh, the track is down, completed all the flooring. Uh, it's all lined. It looks great. Uh, weight room's in place. We're in the process of getting the, the Smart Fitness Center moved over there. And uh, we've scheduled uh, a grand open ribbon cutting for uh, Friday the 24th of February. So obviously really excited to, to have a chance to get in there and, and having been in there and, and checked it out. Uh, just uh, looking forward to having a, a great indoor facility. Thank you, Coach Harpins. Defiance is having an exceptional start to their indoor season, and we hope to see them in full stride at their next meet in Ada, Ohio for the Ohio Northern Invitational. Good luck, Jackets. I'm Brian Merkovich with Inside the Hive. Stay defined. Defiance.